Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to be setting up an NFS server so other systems can access shared folders that are on this system. So let's go ahead and get started. This is also on Fedora Linux, and that will be Fedora 39 that we're using. So let's go ahead and make sure we have the proper packages installed. In this case, it will be NFS utils. So let's do a DNF. NFS-utils and it's already installed. Okay, so our next step will be to to set up the directory or folder that we're going to share and we'll create that folder inside the home home directory. So let's do a make directory home and we'll call it net net share and then let's change the permissions on that that uh, net share folder to 777. So we'll do a change mod home. Net share. And that'll be change mod 777 home net share. All right, and we are complete. All right, so the next step is to edit our our exports folder, which is located in the Etsy, or edit our exports file, which is located in the Etsy folder. So let's go to Etsy, do an ls, and we see over here the exports folder. So we'll vi that, and we will enter first the path to the folder that we're going to share. So that will be, we'll do an I for insert, slash home, slash net share, and let's do uh, three tabs or so. And then we'll put the IP address of the, or not the IP address, but the, we'll put the network information in here, which is 1.0 slash 24 parentheses, and we'll just do a simple configuration, which is RW for read write. So people sharing, accessing this share will have the ability to read what's in it and write to the folder. So let's see. I think that is good. So let's do an escape colon write quit exclamation point. All right. And let's do a export FS, tech R. Next step is to set up our, our uh, services. Let's do a system control. And we'll do an enable RPC bind and NFS server, it's NFS, not NES. Enter, complete, and now we'll update our firewall. We'll add, add service equals NFS dash dash perm, we'll make it permanent. Success. And we will also add entries for NFS3. So firewall command, add service equals Brace NFS3 mount D and RPC bind and then the closed brace and we will also make this perm permanent and they're already enabled on my system but and we'll do a reload of the firewall rules. Uh, 
load. And watch it's dash dash reload. Yes, it is. Okay, successful. Yeah, let's do a start the NF, NFS server. NFS server. Enter. All right, so now we have this configured to a point where it's operational or should be operational. Let's go ahead and do a uh, try to mount that shared folder from our Windows machine here. So first thing we need to do is make sure mount is uh, functioning here. We need to install the uh, or make sure the NFS clients installed on, on our workstation here. And I usually check by going, entering program in the search bar. And it usually works. Okay, programs. And then we'll go down here to turn Windows features on or off. We'll scroll down to services for NFS. And we'll make sure client for NFS is checked. If not, check it and then hit OK. And that will install that, that service. All right. So our next step is to open a command prompt. Move this down here, and we will do a mount dash o, and then the IP address of the server where the share exists, which is dot twenty. And we'll do a colon and the path to the shared folder, which is home. net net share space and then we'll assign the drive letter to this when it mounts so we'll say s colon and enter and the command completed successfully so we're good so we should be able to go down here to our windows explorer and we should be able to mount our s drive here or mount, enter, go into our S drive, and go to right click and go to new folder. And we'll name this folder um, NFS test. We'll go to CD home. Net share. Enter. We'll do an LS. And there's our NFS test folder that we created. So we're able to write to that and obviously read read what's in that in that directory or that folder. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there are again, like in my other videos, we're here to make and make a make this operational and the advanced settings can uh, be tested out and and uh, gone through um, on your own. Again, our whole purpose here is to make a make these services operational. And that's pretty much it. Um, again, please please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like my videos if they're helpful. I would appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Thank you.